Hi everybody, Cynthia here. I'm back to share one of my first projects for um, my craft series that I'm starting. I am going to be involved in a craft show and our craft show is October. It's mid-October. I don't have the exact dates on me right now. And while I have the summer off um, from school, I'm trying to get as much done as possible. So I'm going to be doing a different, a variety of seasonal projects. Like I'm going to be doing a lot of Halloween, uh, some beach themed items because we live in South Florida, and a few Christmas items as well. The Christmas um, part of our craft show, a lot of people do Christmas. So um, one of the ladies, she's one of the heads of our Southern um, crafting club asked me and my friend to overlook the Halloween department and she said Halloween does fairly well so I think I'm gonna do a lot of fall and Halloween type projects um, more than Christmas because there's a lot of competition in the Christmas part of the show I'm not used to a show like this. I don't know how it's going to go. I, I'm going to walk. You guys are going to be with me the whole way. I'm going to keep you with me from the start of my, you know, my projects to setting up. I'm going to be there to set up the, the day, two days before, and, you know, just show you how everything is, is going to go. But I've, I've never done a show like this. I've always had my own table. And my things are going to be mixed in with everybody else's, and there's different departments, so it's a whole new experience for me. But it sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun, so I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, I wanted to share with you, I was on Pinterest, and I saved it. This is my Pinterest, and under my salt shaker button crafts, I saved... All of these cute, those are little cats made out of buttons. But I've been seeing all of these button bouquets. And I thought, oh my gosh, these are so cute. They're different. And I have tons of buttons. I have so many of them, guys. And I never do anything with them. I just, I hoard them because I love them. This is really pretty. This is a vintage one. But it's a vintage salt shaker and then they have the vintage buttons there. And I thought, this is just so cute to sit on somebody's desk. And um, anyway, in this section, if you go to my Pinterest, and I will link that below this video, I saved a lot of these to get different ideas and varieties. And one of them that I really liked was this Halloween one. And she used flowers and hers and buttons and different types of Halloween buttons. And I thought, well, I have a bunch of those. You know, I'm going to give that a try. So anyway, this is where I got my inspiration. This is nothing that I came up with. It's, you know, these have been around for quite a long time. But I wanted to give, you know, try them out. So I went and got buttons and salt shakers. And this was my first one. I'm going to put a white background behind it so you can see it better. I did share a photo of this on my Instagram. Let me back this up. Isn't it cute? I think it came out so cute. These were so much harder than I thought. Holy moly. They were a lot harder. Um, when I saw them, I thought, oh, this can be easy. Just wrap, you know, some buttons in some wire. No problem. Yeah, it is a lot harder than that. I went and got these Jack buttons, the Disney buttons, and um, because I love Jack and Sally, two of my favorites. This one's actually going to be for my desk. This is the, uh, the first one that I made. And basically you get wire. I purchased 20 gauge wire. I have silver. This is all I have left of the silver. And I used black for these and you basically wrap your buttons and then you decide it's kind of like a flower arrangement you decide how tall you want your buttons and where you want them and you put them in the salt shakers 
The problem with that is once you get it into position, they tend to move around when you put another button in. So I was really having a rough time and I decided, you know what, I got to do something. So I decided to use my glossy accents and when I got a button where I wanted it in the hole, I put a little bit of glossy accents there and I waited a minute for it to like kind of take hold and then I walked away from that and then I would wrap another button. And then by the time I got that in, this one dried a little bit so that they wouldn't move around so much and I was able to get the flower arrangement done. And then down here I tied a bow. Now on the inside of the salt shaker, this one I used shredded paper. I'll show you it. It's actually basket filler that I had in my stash and I just stuffed it. I didn't stuff it to the point where it was so tight you couldn't get the wire in but I did put a whole lot of it in there as you can see and then on the top here you could see a little bit of the glue of the glossy accents when it dried and I didn't like that so what I did is I went in with my art glitter glue and this I purchased from the artglitterglue.com you can get this on eBay there is a seller here on YouTube, May May Made It. She sells this in her store. You can get it on, I think you can get it on Amazon as well. Um, but I will post a link below to the website that you can get this from. But anyway, I used that and I went in between all my wire and I put glue. And then I used, aha really fine um, glitter and I just sprinkled it on and I let it dry and then that's how it turned out so that's my first one this one I'm keeping that's for my desk because I love Jack and plus we don't sell anything at our shows any kind of characters any kind of Disney because it's a copyright um, infringement thing so we don't we don't even go there um, but anyway, so that's what I did with that one, and then I tried this one. This is my next one that I made. Aren't they cute? They're so different. I just think it's it's really different, and it was just so much fun. I used the, the paper filler again. I made a black silk ribbon. This one I layered buttons. I have the purple button and then the spell book button here. And then I have a cat button. This one I layered, um, I cut the shank off of the button. And I layered a spider button on top of the spider web with glue. And then I have the spooky tree button and then the rest are just some regular buttons. Some of the wires I coil and some I keep straight. Just depends on the look that I want. But that's the side view. That's the back view. They're really cute to just hang out and keep on your desk or give to somebody as a gift. And these are the buttons I purchased at Joann's. They came in a, a big pack like this. I had two packs and I just combined them. And um, I used a coupon for these. But they had beautiful, as you can see, Halloween colors and all of these buttons. So those are the buttons that I used. And then the other ones with the characters, I just had these in my stash for a while. And then the salt shakers, these two are a little different. I got two more done. These I used a lime green ribbon that has some white in it. A button, I cut the shank off of a pumpkin button, glued that on. And the inside, I filled this one with some of this scrubby sparkle yarn. So I just basically wound it and shoved it in there. I didn't put as much in there as I should have probably, but it did fill it. It looks really good. And I just wanted purple in here. And this was really the only thing purpley I had on hand. So I think it came out kind of cute. 
Um, and for these two arrangements, I did them extremely similar. I used the silver wire, 20 gauge, and I glued on the candy corn buttons onto the purple. Um, this spider web, I wired that onto a black button, as well as I glued and wired on the ghost to the orange button here, and I have a flower here. And then I have a little ghost here, and a, here's one of those spiders um, that I used over here on this one. So that's how this one turned out. I like the lime green as well. And this one's basically the same. So they're just so much fun to make, guys. If you're interested in making these, just, like I said, check out Pinterest. There's tons of ideas on there. Um, a few people sell them on Etsy. You could probably get some ideas there as well. I picked up the salt and pepper shakers at the Dollar Tree. You get two in a pack, so it's not like it's an expensive craft to try. I did look at some of the thrift stores, and I didn't find any vintage salt and pepper shakers, but I'm on the hunt for those now um, because I have a lot of vintage-looking buttons that I'd like to give those a try as well. But anyway, that's my first thing I made for the craft shows. I'm really not sure what I'm going to price these at. I actually have to get these juried into the show, which basically I have to show them to the head of our craft club and get them approved. So I'll let you know if they got approved and in the show. And then once I price them, I'll let you know. But I just think they're so much fun to make. And if you want to give somebody a really sweet gift, I, I think they're so adorable to have on your desk. But anyway, any questions, let me know. Thanks so much for watching, and happy crafting.